Now let's look at some of Tintu's really neat editing tools. Library, if I want to find where it is, because often I've worked on a library for a long time and I just don't know where the heck I put it. Now I can just select it, right click, reveal in Finder. Boom, there it is. The next cool thing here in the browser is, used to be if I played a clip, it hit the end, it stopped. We have a new function, continuous playback. This I really like. If you're just reviewing clips for the day and you just want to play through them all, continuous playback, when it hits the end of a clip, obviously, it picks up and plays the next clip. And in Timeline 2, we have a couple of new commands that come in handy. Shift command with the plus and minus actually makes my clip heights taller and shorter. Another cool thing we have is if I come and get my trim tool, you have to have the trim tool to do this. See, I have a connected clip here and I have a connected clip here. I can grab with the trim tool in between them and do a roll edit in between connected clips now, which I think is really, really awesome. Now I want to change the duration of a clip. I'm going to select it. I can see here it's 3 seconds and 16 frames. Double click the time code readout. I'm going to type in 5 period, hit enter. Boom, it is now five seconds long. That easy, very cool. Now, very long awaited and very handy feature is remove attributes. I have various effects put on these clips. I don't know what's where, but I need to remove some of them as a group. I'll come to edit and do select all or command A. Then I can come back to edit and remove attributes. I don't know which effects from which clips, but I do know I want to take all of my color corrections off. I want to take all my auto balances off. And I want to take all my LUTs off. I want to go and grade this thing all over again from scratch. So I'll just click remove. They're gone. Wherever they were, they're not there now. And for those of you who work with very complicated, very big projects, this is going to be handy. I'll open the timeline index, come to the clip section, and I'm going to do a search for a compound clip. I type in the word compound. There it is. You see the little icon. It is a compound clip, but it doesn't have the word compound in its name. If I want to find a synchronized clip. Boom, there's my synchronized clip. Now I can't just type in sync. I have to type in the word synchronize, the whole word. Now I've got a multicam clip in here multi don't see anything cam there it is multicam spelled out there's my multicam clip that is going to be really handy for those of us who work in very big complex timelines